Now we'll touch on NAT network and how to connect a VirtualBox virtual machine to a NAT network. And again, the purpose of the NAT network is to connect a virtual machine to the NAT network shown here. And that will allow the virtual machines to have connectivity to one another as well as uh, perform NAT from the host computer in order to access the internet. So the way I like to think of it, as you can see that I drew in this little diagram, is in VirtualBox we create a NAT network which I'll show you how to create and it essentially forms an acts as a router that's performing NAT for you so the the dark solid line is to represent the host computer and the dashed line is to represent the VirtualBox running inside of the host computer and inside of VirtualBox we've got the NAT network configured and I've got a NAT network which we'll use 10.11.12.0 slash 24 for our NAT network which our virtual machines will get IP addresses on that network and in order for them to reach the internet NAT will be performed and the outside IP address from NAT will be the IP address of the host NIC which we will demonstrate so now I'll show you how to set it up inside of VirtualBox So in order to set up the NAT network, go to VirtualBox and go to File, Preferences, and then go down to the Network icon, and you'll see a tab with NAT Network. And if you haven't messed with it, you'll have a default NAT network. Typically, on the version that I have, I do have one. Some versions may not. But when you click the screwdriver, you'll see that they've got a NAT network with this 10.0.2.0 slash 24 network. And DHCP is checked. So what we'll do in order to use the network that we want to use, the 10.11.12.0, we'll create a new NAT, NAT network and we'll edit it and I'll just name it my NAT network 01 and I will assign an address of 10.0 10.11.12.0 slash 24 and I will enable DHCP that way it'll just be easier when we connect our two VMs here to this NAT network they'll automatically get an IP address and we won't have to configure a static IP which is a little above where we are now which we will demonstrate that later but now we'll just use DHCP and these virtual machines should get an address on this 10 11 12 network and they will be able to communicate with one another as well as access the internet so We've got that NAT network configured. Again, let's just go back and make sure that it's still there. Check our settings and it looks good. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go to our first virtual machine. And this installation is a desktop with a GUI installed with it. So I will come to the network and NAT network is selected. It may not be by default. So select NAT network and we have two networks that we can select here. And the one we just created, the 10.11.12.0 network, is this one. So I'll select it for this host. And I'll go ahead and boot him up. And we'll let him boot. And when it's booted, go ahead and log in. And when your desktop loads, go ahead and open up a terminal. And we'll go ahead and verify our IP address of the interface we just connected to the NAT network. And we can see that we've got an IP address in that network. We've got a 10.11.12.4 network. And we'll verify that we can access the internet. And we can access the internet. So the next thing that we'll do is we will open up a second VM and connect it to the NAT network. So go back to VirtualBox. And this installation is actually a non-GUI installation. So this is a command line only, but what I'll do anyway, I'll select NAT Network from the Network menu. And then select NAT Network 01 to put it on the same NAT Network as our other virtual machine. Click the OK. And we'll go ahead and start the second virtual host up as well. And once your second virtual machine is booted, Go ahead and log on. Use the IP adder command 
to show the IP addresses of the interfaces and you can see this interface has an IP address of 10.11.12.5 so our second VM has 10.11.12.5 and our first VM you can see has 10.11.12.4 so from the first virtual machine I'll verify that the two can ping each other so I'll ping the second VM which was 10.11.12.5 and you can see that we're able to get a ping response from them. And in addition, if we wanted to, we could SSH to it. And now we're logged in to the other machine. Which is host name Wiley64. And again, we'll go back to the second virtual machine, and we can verify that this one can ping Google as well. And here you can see that his IP address is 10.11.12.5. And for demonstration purposes, I will load up Wireshark on the host PC to see that traffic from this host, whenever we ping I'll just pick a random IP address or I'll actually use Google so I'll ping Google and if we load up Wireshark on our host PC you'll see that NAT is being performed on this IP address I'll open it as administrator to have access to the interfaces select my local area connection start the capture and I will filter for ICMP and you can see that whenever we're pinging Google that 10.11.12 address is converted to 172.16.83.83 and that's a brief example of NAT network